another installment of my scaling Scrum series. And today we're going to talk about Nexus from one of the creators of Scrum, Ken Swab. In simple terms, Nexus is a framework for developing and sustaining scaled product delivery. It builds upon Scrum and answers Scrum only where required. One of the key things that Nexus does very well is giving us the tools to help us minimize and manage dependencies while still promoting empiricism and the values, the Scrum values. Now, one of the key concepts of a Nexus framework or even the core concept of a Nexus framework is a Nexus, which is a group of Scrum teams, three to nine Scrum teams working on a single product, very important, single product, single product owner and single backlog. The product owner basically manages the single backlog where all the Scrum teams take work from. Again, Nexus. Very easy to understand if and only if <laughs> you understand the Scrum framework it's because it basically enhances the Scrum framework where required to help us manage these dependencies, cross-team dependencies. Nexus extends Scrum in three ways, accountabilities, events, and artifacts. Let's start with accountabilities, the simplest one. So a Nexus, we just talked about that. A Nexus is a group of Scrum teams that work towards a single product goal. And in this group of Scrum teams, there are accountabilities. Same thing as the Scrum framework. What are the accountabilities of the Scrum framework? If you read the Scrum Guide 2020, there are three accountabilities. Product owner, Scrum master, and the developers. Same thing in Nexus, but there's an additional role. The Nexus integration team, which is accountable for ensuring that it done integrated increment the combined work of a nexus is produced at least once per sprint remember the scrum framework a single scrum team working on a shippable increment every single sprint we need to build this potentially shippable increment of a product in the nexus framework the nexus integration team is responsible to build this combined combined increment the combined work of all the scrum teams in the nexus needs to be released at least once per sprint the nexus integration team includes the product owner the scrum master and appropriate members of different scrum teams in a nexus appropriate members simply means members who have the skills the knowledge the competencies to help the nexus resolve issues that they will face at any time now the product owner in the nexus is responsible for same as scrum product backlog management, maximizing the value of the product, of the Nexus, what the Nexus is working on, what the Nexus is integrating, and all the Scrum teams are working on maximizing this value, managing the single product backlog. Next, the Scrum Master in the Nexus integration team is accountable for ensuring that the all Nexus understand the Nexus framework and use Put it in practice, the Nexus framework, the Scrum Master in the Nexus integration team can be one of the Scrum Masters of the Scrum teams in the Nexus. Now, very important for product owner, the Scrum Master, or all the other members of the Nexus from different Scrum teams who have the competencies, knowledge to help the, ne the Nexus solve problems. All these members of the Nexus integration team have to work for the Nexus integration team in priority compared to their Scrum teams. If there's an issue that needs to be fixed because dependencies an issue between different teams, we are unable right now to build this integrated increase meant this sprint we need to stop what we're doing in different scrum teams and go help the nexus integration team that's our number one priority because the nexus framework feels that the number one priority of a nexus should be resolving inter teams issues interdependency issues we are done with accountabilities next is the nexus events very similar to the Scrum framework, guided, the duration of all these events is guided by the length of a corresponding event in the Scrum guide, starting with the sprint. The sprint, same thing as in the Scrum framework, but this time, instead of building this potentially shippable increment of a product, we are building an, a single integrated increment. Next, the refinement. We do cross refinement, yeah. Everyone in the Nexus working on a single product backlog, we refine together. Remember, in the Scrum framework, refinement, 
It's not an event. No, it's an activity. But in the Nexus framework, refinement is an event. With a duration, it should be ongoing. And it helps us. The main goal of this event is to help us reduce or completely eliminate cross team dependencies. All the Scrum teams in the Nexus can still do their own refinement to gather information and get things ready so that they can go to this cross team refinement so that we can finalize what we will work on in the next sprint from this single product backlog. And we can't plan what we'll do in the next sprint without sprint planning. So in the cross team refinement event, we got items ready. Now the whole team or representative from different scrum teams in the Nexus will meet in the sprint planning event to plan the next sprint. The goal, the outcome of this event, the sprint planning is a sprint goal for the Nexus, but also for the different Scrum teams involved. A sprint backlog for the Nexus, but also a different sprint backlog for all the Scrum teams involved. Next is the daily Scrum, which is used to identify integration issues and also inspect progress towards the Nexus sprint goal. The, all the Scrum teams are doing their daily Scrums. And the daily Scrum, you know the goal of a daily Scrum for the Scrum framework is to inspect progress towards the sprint goal. What can we do to get closer to the sprint goal? All the Scrum teams are doing the daily Scrum. Then they take information and representative from each one of the Scrum teams. We go back to the Nexus daily Scrum where we talk about integration issues. If any. We are still inspecting progress, but we are inspecting progress now of a Nexus sprint goal. So same principle, but different sprint goals, different levels of sprint goal. And the sprint retrospective is very similar also. All the different scrum teams will do their own sprint retrospective following the scrum framework. And then we take relevant information. Relevant because information that impacts different teams. Integrated information, representative from different scrum teams take this information and we do a final big Nexus Sprint Retrospective where we talk about how to improve collaboration between different teams, dependency issues, integration issues, and the final event, the Sprint Review. A single Sprint Review. It doesn't make any sense to do different Sprint Reviews for each one of the Scrum teams in the Nexus. No, we are building a single integrated increment a single sprint review, all the stakeholders are invited, and the same principle, we are trying to get feedback on this increment, we are trying to get information so that we can modify and enhance the product backlog if required. It's all about transparency, clarity, getting feedback from the stakeholders. And talking about transparency, one of the key things that we need to do in the Nexus framework to maximize transparency. Artifacts, we already talked about accountabilities and the events. Now it's time for the artifacts, which maximize transparency. The first artifact is the product backlog. Remember, a single product backlog managed, be managed by the product owner. The product backlog contains, same as Scrum, product backlog items, which are used to maximize value, improve this product across the nexus. Because remember, Many different Scrum teams working in a single product backlog. So we are building a single integrated increment each and every sprint. And the product owner maintains this product backlog, this single product backlog. The product owner's big priority is to ensure that dependencies, especially cross-team dependencies, are identified early or reduced or completely eliminated early. Next is the sprint backlog. Very similar to the scrum framework. The sprint backlog is a combination of a sprint goal and different product backlog items that we'll do in this sprint. Each one of these scrum teams have their own sprint backlog and the Nexus has its own sprint backlog. And the commitment of a sprint backlog is the sprint goal, which the Nexus has and all the different scrum teams have their own sprint goal and at the end of the day we are trying to build together this potentially shippable increment but not only increment integrated increment the combination of all the work of all the different scrum teams in the nexus this integrated increment every single sprint at least once a sprint we want to put something release it to production deploy it to production and put it to the market this integrated effort work a combination of all the different scrum teams put it to the market and also present it in the sprint review to get feedback from stakeholders. Which brings me to my next point. If you want more tips, insights on Agile Scrum personal growth, click on the video that stands out the most on the screen right now. And I'll see you in a few seconds.